Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at Splash Screen. Uh, what is a Splash Screen? A Splash Screen is a graphical control element consisting of window containing an image, a logo, and the correct version of the software. A Splash Screen usually appears while a game or program is launching. You know, it's always like the first screen. No, before the main program actually initialized. Uh, we have splash screen on Android, on iOS, on Blackberry, on, on Windows as well. But we will be talking majorly on Android and how to instantiate, how to develop a splash screen into your application. So I'll put you through on how to actually write the code and how to incorporate this in the course of your application. Uh, we're going straight to my Android Studio, which is my development environment. Okay. Right on the left, you can see the directories of all the files being used. I will talk about the XML first. The, the, the main under, underscore splash underscore screen, which is the main splash screen XML. This is the layout that actually holds on to the splash screen itself. It's a relative layout with the layout width, height, that match parent, and also a context, which is calling on the main splash screen Java class. It has an image view as a child uh, tag, which has a layout width and height wrap content. And also there is an Android source to the drawable, which is welcome. Uh, definitely there is a picture, you know, which signifies an image. Uh, to actually populate the splash screen in particular. Before I move further from here, I would like to talk about the splash screen dimensions, which are very important. You no, know? in Android we have the LDPI, which has a portrait of 200 by 320. It has a corresponding uh, landscape, but we're talking majorly on the portrait. You know, we have the MDPI, which has a portrait of 320 by 480 pixels, that 320 width, 480 height. We have the HDPI, which are 480 by 800 pixels. We have the XHDPI, which are 720 by 1280 pixels. We have the XSHDPI, which has 960 by 1600 pixels. We have the XXS. HDPI, which has 1280 by 1920 pixels. You know, these are different uh, screens in Android. No matter what, your emulator, your device will fall into this category. You must put this in place. You must have a picture that actually suits these dimensions before you move on. Okay, I have them in my drawable. They're welcome. They are all there, HDPI, LDPI, MDPI, and XHDPI, which is the IS, the 720 by 1280, just for the course of this uh, uh, tutorial. Okay, uh, we'll talk about the first screen, which is the screen that follows after the splash screen loaded finish. You no, know, that it should be a corresponding or, or, or the next uh, activity that will take place after the splash screen might have showed for a while. So, this first screen is actually the second screen. But I call it the first screen anyway, because that is the application. The, the splash screen is like a demo to the application. It's a table layer that has a table row with a padding top of 45 pixels. Uh, it's just a text view with welcome to first screen. You know, this can be anything. Anything you like can be your initialized screen or your first screen. We are talking majorly about the splash screen and how to really write the Java code to populate that in your application. It has a table row with a button, you know, uh, just like the normal button we have with the text clickable layout width, the layout height. We we'll give it an ID of assigning the graffiti to the center and also the layer graffiti to the center. We have another table row as well that has a button. So definitely we have two buttons on this layout, okay, which has, uh, I have to sign in. That's the text on the button. And as click, the clickable is true. The width and height is wrapping content. It has an ID of, of sign up and a graffiti of sender 
and the layer gravity of center. Okay. Uh, let's move straight to our Java classes. You know, we have the two Java classes, one for the splash screen and the second one for the first screen, which is the the screen or uh, the, the, the activity that comes up after the splash screen. Okay. I'll be talking firstly about the main splash screen. Okay. This is a class called, there's a class called main splash screen that extends activity, the normal override of the super class of onCreate, whereby you call out the super onCreate with the saving star state to set the content view to the layout, the main splash screen, so that the layout will actually populate uh, uh, the, the, the image of the splash. Okay, we have two methods that you can use you know, to uh, actually code out or or display the splash screen, you know. The method one is to create a thread that will sleep for five seconds, you know. But the background thread, you know, as a thread background, whereby it's run, as a try and catch, you know, the thread will sleep for five seconds. After five seconds, it redirects to another intent, which is the first screen, you know. So while the thread is being sleeping, there will be an image. Okay. You start an activity, you know, and you finish it up by removing the activity. And you catch for any exception probably there's no image or there's, there's there's an error somewhere you know and you start the thread the background starter okay we have the second method which has a new handler and you post delayed by having a new runnable and using handler with post delayed called runnable run method so you have to have a run method okay and set the intent to this main splash screen and also to the first screen which is you have you must have the first uh method uh the first class and also the corresponding second class which is the first screen anyway so you start the activity by the giving the intent i and you close this activity with a finish method and also you wait for five seconds you know this has been calculated in milliseconds so it's five times one thousand okay you have a method called undestroy whereby the super class is being called and on destroy method it's been attached to it. So you can actually try these two methods in order to have your splash screen layout showed up. You know, why it didn't sleep for five steps? Definitely, it's going to be showed for five seconds. Okay. Uh, the corresponding first screen, which is the screen that's, that actually brings out your application, you know, this can be any other thing. It can be your, uh, your application uh, classes, layouts, your whatever that you really want to be to make it be after the splash screen you know this is not majorly the bone of contention in this tutorial the bone of contention is the splash screen on how to instantiate and how to bring out the splash screen in your application okay uh this is just uh the normal on create method and you set the content view to the layout of the first screen and we declare the on destroy you know calling on the super on destroy you know this is just simple no much logic on it because we are not focusing on the activity after the splash screen okay i'll go to my android manifest all right uh you you have an intent filter that calls on the main so now the main the the the, the launcher class will be the main splash screen java class now it's not the first screen that's the launcher okay giving it the label of splash screen and also we're calling on the intern filter to the launcher and declaring the activity of the first screen you, know, you have to declare all activities used in your java in your android manifest which is the metadata of your application okay without much ado i would like to run this application so that we can have, be able to see how the splash screen pops up and sleep for five seconds before the main or before the first screen of the application uh, follows okay click on my run button I'd like to bring my journey motion emulator to focus I will upload this source code to my github account so that you can pick it from here and use it in the course of your application okay wow that's the first screen which is a splash screen uh, calling on Dela Rest Studios is going to sleep for five seconds before the uh, corresponding first screen comes up. You know, 
that is just what I really want us to understand here. That's, there can be some other, uh, like, uh, if you look at Facebook, if you have a sort of, uh, let me say, they, they call it a navigation that happens, whereby uh, it's, it, it shows as if something is loading up while on the, on the splash screen, you know, just getting ready for the main screen of the application. You can as well incorporate that in the splash screen. I think with just few analysis, you should be able to have yourself flying in using splash screens in your application. Thank you very much for listening, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.